Hey friends, today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Um, and again, we're going to keep talking about asking and answering questions about details in a text. So again, what I want you to do is write two questions that you have about the story for today. Um, so this is what good readers do. They think about the story and are kind of active in participating in it. They're not just listening to it, they're thinking about it as well. So again, you can think about a question before the story really gets started. This is a little bit tricky because we don't have a book in front of us and we can't necessarily look at just the cover. So as the story kind of gets started, um, during the story, while it's really kind of in the middle, or once the story is done. So just two questions that you have. And again, there's no wrong answers as, as long as you're thinking about a question that has to do with the story. So some ideas you can start with who, what, when, where, and why. So again, no wrong answers, just two questions that you have about the story. Um, if you have extra time for writing, um, and this is a little bit funny because it's snowed recently, uh, what are signs of spring that you have noticed. So we might have to think back before it snowed. Um, so if you do have some time, you can feel free to write a little extra today too. For math, um, I would like you to work on a 3D shapes worksheet. And I just kind of thought about the 3D shapes that we had talked about in the past. Um, I know some of my friends could definitely sketch out some better shapes, but cones, um, spheres, cubes, pyramids, triangular prisms, and I didn't label this one, but cylinders. So remember these shapes and remember that they're ones that we could hold in our hands. And that some vocabulary that we had talked about are edges, uh, vertexes, and faces. So remember um, that faces are the flat surfaces. I have a can here. So they're the flat surfaces. And then the vertexes or the vertices when it's more than one, the vertexes are like the corners. And then the edges are along the sides. So the edges um, are where the two faces meet. So here would be a face. I'm not dyeing my hair anytime soon, friends. I don't know why I have this. <laughs> but it's a good de demonstration. Um, this is where two faces are and the edge it kind of connects them. So that's one way to remember when an edge is. And then um, again, the vertices or the vertexes are the corners. So you can um, keep that in mind as you are working. And remember the 2D shapes are flat. You can't put them in your hands. They can just be drawn. Um, you can't hold them, they're 2D. Um, but 3D are, you can hold them in your hands. It's a little bit tricky to think about, but we will keep reviewing them too. Um, uh, again, you can always work on Dreambox and Lexia if you do have that availability and have extra time. I know that is kind of tricky as we don't necessarily always have the time and devices, um, but again, do your best. I am so proud of all of you. Um, don't forget to go back onto um, Tuesday's slide and review some of the phonics skills too. Um, if you have any questions or need anything, please let me know. Um, I miss you guys so much. Bye.